For five years, interest rates have been at an all-time low of 0.5%. Whether you're a borrower or a saver, now with the prospect of an imminent rise, everything's about to change. Miriam and her husband have three children and are currently on a fixed rate mortgage. She's worried about the effect even a small rate rise could have on her family. While retired homeowners Philip and Steve are celebrating the prospect, their long-earned savings may finally be worth a little more. It's impossible to know what's going to happen. That's, that's the conundrum for savers. I think. I think it's going to have a big effect on people who borrow money, but very little effect on people who are saving. But any changes for the better. Well, that's all, that's it is going in the right direction. Yeah. The effect on us would be our monthly expenses and just generally, you know, what, what we'd have to cut back on for the children and, um, you know, if we'd have a family holiday next year and if we'd have to change cars. And it's just, you know, it's, it's what money we've got month to month, basically. On an average mortgage of around £115,000, the average mortgage repayment is £530 a month. A 0.25 rate rise would take that to £546. And if rates were to return to pre-recession rates of, say, 3%, then that could go as high as £690. But with house prices going through the roof in some areas, the Chancellor has a plan to limit the amount you can borrow for a mortgage relative to your income to prevent buyers from getting into trouble in the future. Visiting a building site earlier, George Osborne was keen to reassure that the economy is as safe as houses. We're clear that uh, whilst things are improving in the British economy, the economy is growing, we've got to be vigilant about risks in the housing market. That's why I've given the Bank of England new powers to control mortgages. Financial experts say any interest rate rises will be gradual. There have been rumours that interest rates could go back really to their old levels of long-term levels of say 5%. That's far too high. Much more likely they're going to go up something like 25 to 3% but not immediately. Buyers both present and future then will be keeping a close eye on interest rates. The question now, how much they'll rise and when. Here we go. Catherine Jacob, 5 News, Manchester.